this is what I do, and it's so simple. I tell everyone, leave it in the bag, and then a couple days before Thanksgiving, put it in a sink of cold water. Don't put it in a sink of cold water and go off and leave it. You have to watch this. And every half hour, we change the water. You take it out of the bag, you rinse it real good. The neck will be probably in one end, maybe between the legs, and then up at the neck area over here, is there will be the giblet bag. And a lot of times people may forget that. So you want to make sure both ends are totally empty. Rinse it real well. Then it's so, I do such a basic thing. I make my dressing the night before, but I don't stuff it till that morning. Then all I do is this. I will take a stick of butter that's cold, that's so it's still hard, okay? And I will just make pats of butter. I take my fingers and I just loosen up the skin at the top of the turkey breast and then you want to slip in just hard pats of butter all over. Now, you can use olive oil and herbs too. It's just, this is, seems to be a favorite with all my customers. So, and it's the way we do it at home. Okay, now I'm going to take the softer one that's been sitting out longer. Make sure that the entire outside of the bird is either covered totally with olive oil or with um, butter. It seals in the juices. This is the part, the most important tip on a turkey, chicken, any poultry. Once the meat is no longer pink, it is done. Any cooking after that will make it tough and dry. The last part of the turkey to cook is the thigh. So you want to reach the bottom, like if the turkey was standing up, you want to reach the back part of the thigh, the thickest part. So you're going to go between the leg and the breast, and you're just going to shoot down towards the middle and go back down towards that thickest part of the thigh here. That's the last part to cook there. So you want to make sure you watch it from like 145 on and then you pull it out at 165 and let it sit there for 20 or 30 minutes. While it's doing that, that gives you time to finish your other dishes you want to put in the oven. Because what happens is when you pull it out to rest, all the juices flow within the bird. You're going to put two to four cups of chicken broth in the bottom of the pan. And then I'm going to take the turkey and then I put the stuffing in there. I don't tie the legs because I want them to cook evenly. Me, I, I love stuffing from a turkey. I, it, there's nothing like the stuffing from a turkey. So for me, I prefer that one. Of course, I always have the extra trays with the extra one and then we put a lot of the broth on on top. Another tip, you're going to put it in the oven. Don't cover it at all. You don't want to boil this stuff inside. You don't want to cook it too fast. So you always have the oven at 325 and because all ovens are different that's why you're using a thermometer. Take it out between 165 and 170. If it being a little pink towards the bone is going to bother you then go to 170. If by any chance you overcook your turkey or chicken, any poultry, just heat up some hot organic chicken broth and pour it over it and it just adds that moisture back in.